Hello, this is a video for anybody who else has got a uh, TouchMix 16 or a 30 or anything else and has been having problems with it turning on, cycling itself, shutting off, turning on, cycling itself and shutting off and you're in a continuous loop. You're just about to do a gig or a show and you can't get the bloody thing on and you're panicking, you're wondering what's happening. I've had this problem now for probably, well, on and off for about a year without any luck of solving it. I've got other desks that I use instead of this, but I'm sick to the back teeth of this happening, so I wanted to solve it. Before you send it back anywhere or, you know, write to you know QSC and say, look, I've got a problem with this mixer, try this fix first. It's worked for me. I found it on a forum somewhere that some guy tried and um, it seemed to work for him, so I want to save you the time. Hopefully you found this video and you can try this and it's going to work for you, especially if you're just at a gig and you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I'll try and keep it straight to the point. What tends to happen, sometimes it'll go into the upgrade mode where it thinks that you need to do a firmware upgrade, even though it's got the latest firmware on there. So it acts all confused. It doesn't know what it's doing. Um, so you want to get this back on. You want to get it powered up. What I've found, you see inside of here, each one of these six sleeves here has, oh, there's a better light there, has three metal prongs in there, little sleeves. So there's three in each one of them. What's happened over time, they've widened out and they're not making a perfect contact with the inside of the desk. Now, if some of those aren't making a perfect contact, it's going to reset itself, it's going to go all weird and haywire, and it's not going to work, right? So the solution is get yourself something like a thick knitting needle or something, if you've got a multi-tool, something sort of thin or with a fairly fat edge, before you stick anything in there, do make sure that that's unplugged, okay? Otherwise, you may fry yourself. What you need to do is go in there and just pull in very carefully the little side prongs on there, the edges of the sleeves. Just pull them in. What I did, I pushed, it, I pushed my needle down slightly into it and just made it so it would make a little bit of a tighter hole to connect onto the sleeve on the inside of the desk. Do that with each one of them. So it's, you know, so it's sort of closed the gap of the actual uh, sleeve about that much. Do it with each one of them and then put it back in carefully. Don't force it because if you've pushed one too far in, you may damage the sleeve and it may make it even worse. So carefully just put it in and then slowly slide it on. You should feel that it's a tighter connection. Once you've done that, try powering your desk on and fingers crossed that's solved your issue. It's done it with mine, it's solved it instantly, and I've been at this for 12 months or so. Almost sending it back, but I've got other desks, like I say, and I've not really been using it. I've just done this fix now, and it's worked a charm. So, again, something thin and strong, so you can push those sleeves inwards a little bit on each one of the six holes, push them all in, make a tighter fit so it sits in the back of the desk nicer, and plug it back in. Do make sure you've unplugged that before you stick anything in there. I'm going to show you what happens now. So carefully, I'm going to plug it back in. It's a bit of a tighter connection. You can definitely feel that it's a tighter connection. It should auto boot up. It's doing it now. Let's have a look. And remember, this was just cycling on and off and on and off, and it was driving me insane. So it should respond properly. The light should be all up, and you should be back to your page. And I'm hoping that's going to give you some relief because it was driving me mad. I'm sure it's driving you mad. Hopefully that's solved it. If it hasn't and you've tried it a few times, you may need a new power pack or ask QSC. But this worked for me. This is quite old now. I hope it works for you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Good luck.